going on? Johnny? Hi, Uncle Richard. Johnny got pulled over by a highway cop on the BQE. Which I'm not saying he was wrong to do. Uh-huh. Johnny didn't want to come in here. So I'm willing to take my medicine. How did you find out about it, then? Nucci called me. He's going to get points on his license. Their insurance premiums are going to go sky high. And from what Johnny tells me, it was totally uncalled for. Let me see the ticket. Five tickets? This guy decided I was like a bad guy or something. I mean, before I even opened my mouth. I mean, he looks at the clothes, he looks at the earring, he looks at the hair. Speeding. Which I was like eight miles an hour over the limit. Failure to signal? I did not fail to signal. No seatbelt. Broken taillight, excess window tint. What did you say to this guy? Nothing. What's wrong, Sonny? Did you tell him you had an uncle on the job? Yeah. And you were respectful? I was totally respectful. I'll look into it. Thank you, Uncle Richard. I mean, like I said, if it was just me, you know, I'd take my medicine. I just don't want to impose any financial problems on my parents, you know. Johnny, I said I would look into it. I will look into it. He's telling you he feels bad. I'm gonna go check the meter. You know, kid? Okay. Hope you weren't worried about me asking you to come in. Oh, huh, not at all. Just we got a little hitch in this ticket situation. Obviously, there's two sides to every story, but for some wacky reason, this highway guy claims that you refused to pull over when he told you to. First, I didn't know he wanted me to pull over, and then I was looking for a safe place. I knew there had to be some reason. Uh, absolutely. He also mentioned some things that you said to him. About his name, about his uniform, and things that you threatened him with that I'd do. I was just joking around with the guy. Yeah, <laughs> well, what we gotta do now is hold you over. Whoa, whoa, what, what do you mean? I mean, the guy's gonna decide to charge you with things he initially let slide. Like what? I... Failure to comply, reckless evasion, intentional disparagement. Those are felonies. So you're locking me up. Barring anything unforeseen, you'll be out 48 hours. Oh, you're kidding, right? Go we keep your eye on him and uh, don't let them get at him, huh? You got it, boss. Uncle Richard! I want me to get my medication. Hmm? For the 15th time, you'll get your medication when psychiatric services send them over. So when that gonna be, man? I couldn't tell you that. Louie, come on. And then, it's gonna be my fault when I can't stop my stuff, right? Just relax. Relax. Sergeant wants to see you outside. Relax. My methadone. If I can't get my medication, they gonna put me in here with a young boy. Tomorrow morning, it's gonna be all, what he did, what he did. what they expect, man? You wanna lie down, you can take the bench. This your bench? No. Then why you all like you, you can take the bench then, huh? I just... Whose bench is it? Huh? Your bench. <laughs> You're damn right, it's my bench. Johnny. Uncle Richard. Get up. You like it in there? No, sir. No, why not? It's scary. You bet your ass is scary. You want to go back inside, you just keep on going where you're going. I won't, I promise, Uncle Richard. I will I... not. Because let me tell you something. You can look me in the eye and lie to me now. I hate to imagine what you're going to be capable of five years from now. At a certain point, it ain't a highway cop writing you a ticket. It's a detective breaking in the door. It's a shame that's what you're going to do with your life. I won't. I promise I won't. Your mother's waiting on you out front. I can go. You can go. <laughs> <laughs> 